Alright guys, one of my loves, and I'm realizing this now, and my passion is that um, I do enjoy a good flashlight. And I've always kind of been into them, and I'm, I'm just realizing it now. This is pretty wild. Look at the, the strobe happening. Can't notice it in real life. That's the uh, mag light. Pulsating. It's interesting. So, I'm going to go over a couple of my lights here. Alright, let's get into the light, shall we? Well, you know, I, I like knives, and certainly guns are great and all that, but I really feel... I really get excited when I get a flashlight, so um, I really wanted to do a quick vid on my, my flashlights again, updated to the other one. Um, kind of go through them real quick here, and then we'll kind of look at what, each one individually. What I kind of want to try and focus on here is this, uh, this Streamlight Keymate, which I just got. Um, I'm going to go from there. So first, you know, there's the, the Prion 2. Here's uh, the mini the mini mag light. I got this from uh, Fred Hart, the Gear Obsession channel. I won this in a contest. Boy, I really like it. It's got uh, high, low, and then a, a beacon, and I think it does another one too. Yeah. Um, I've never seen this cap. I've never been able to find the camo uh, digital camo uh, pattern multicam. I think it's hot, and I'm gonna use it to uh, as a model for some dirt coating. Um, here's a Brookstone light. My dad gave it to me. The neat thing is, is it takes two um, CR123s and it's a pretty good brightness. Um, I mean, I'm no expert, but I'm going to say about 60 lumens maybe. Uh, not a bad flashlight for a Brookstone. The PD30, the Phoenix, it's awesome. I absolutely love this light. It's got all kinds of crazy. I love the uh, turbo and the strobe. It's just great. That you can use this dedicated weapon light, and I kind of still have this kicking around the uh, one two three, the uh, TLR three, the mini one two three. This is the four sevens, the quirk. This is one of my favorite lights. Period. Um, it's super lightweight. I think it weighs one point two ounces. Low, medium, high, and then it's got the strobe, the beacons, and it's got some uh, other modes. But it's just bright inexpensive, super lightweight. Um, it came with a really nice lanyard um, that you can use. It's almost too big for it, so I use that for something else. I just got these. My buddy works at EMS, and these aren't for sale, but he gave them to me. Um, they're little mini carabiners with things like that, and they can support some serious weight, I'll tell you right now, but they work perfect for little uh, flashlight deals. And finally, Here's the, uh, the, the Streamlight Keymate, okay? They make these in a bunch of different colors, black, well not a bunch, black, this brushed silver, titanium they call it, and they have this great camo one. I didn't even know that until I was looking up some info on it to do this video. I'll show that right here. Um, this is how it comes. It comes in these, uh, the blister packs, which I hate. You know, be careful if you hurt yourself or hurt the product. It comes with a lanyard, it's a pretty cheap one. Um, the clip is outstanding. This thing, it's just two wires, but it, it's the firmest clip. Uh, it's extremely firm. This thing, if you put it in your pants pocket, it is not going to come out. Um, I do not, I don't think that you can take it off. I kind of wish you could reverse it. It'd be great to put on the hat, actually. Um, I'm not sure if this comes off or not. It doesn't look like it does, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna break it. Again, I'm not traditionally a big fan of twist-ons, but this has a real firm. It's not like the uh, the mini. The mini, is kind of, kind of loose. That's why I don't like it. Cause look at what happens with the mini. If you don't turn it, on, if you don't twist it enough, and that's in your pocket, there you go. You're gonna turn it on. This one's firm the whole way through. That's actually the neat thing about this uh, this mini mag light that Fred Hart I got from Fred Hart. It's a twist on, you know, all the way twisted is off. I think that's one of the smartest features you could do. Because that way if it got wet and stuff, it's twisted as tight as it can go. And then when you needed it, you turn it that way to turn it on. It has this little mini uh, kind of keychain with that similar thing as I was just showing you, but it's kind of cheap. I'm going to take one of these and put it on there. It's uh, the key ring thing. So 
This is great because it is so small. This weighs about an ounce. Um, it's so small, a lot thinner than the one, two, three. There's really no excuse for you not to have this uh, in your pocket. This is definitely a keychain flashlight. They actually make one even smaller. It's called the Nano, and I believe it's the same 10 lumens as this one. Um, model number on that is, uh, God, I think it's 73001. This is model 72001. Um, It's got a lifetime warranty. Um, this is water uh, resistant. No, it's got the, it's all waterproof it says. All right, just like the Nano, it's saying waterproof. It takes four of those alkaline, uh, the hell that was called, the, uh, the LR44 um, batteries, those little button cell batteries. Those are cheap, guys. You can get 10 and 12 of them for four or five bucks, so not a bad thing. It's got the Streamlight Keymate engraved right in there. It's pretty sweet. Let's see here. It was nine dollars and forty-nine cents, and they also come with the uh, filters. Here, let me let me show you a picture of those. Okay, at the time I didn't see them. I just saw this when I was getting something quick from Midway. They actually for fourteen ninety-nine you can get this with the with the green and the red, I believe it is. Because if you don't, you buy them separately. They're um, the hell are they? I think they're for. Uh, 95 each. I think you might get all of them. Now I'm pretty sure you don't 495 each separately. They do have an infrared one as well, but I mean that's kind of crazy to use it on something like that. I don't think it's really bright enough for that, but it uh, it feels like a real high quality little light. I mean, there's pretty good write-ups on it all over the place. Um, it uh, certainly is a beautiful addition to my little collection here. I really, really like flashlights, and uh, you know, unfortunately, this mag light's a little too big for general use. I mean, you know, for carrying or anything. But this is great for backpacking. This is this is too heavy for backpacking. This is a great house light here. And actually, I just duracoated uh, this big uh, husky one that I have, and this is an LED husky one. It has three positions. Pretty bright. I got it for like seven bucks at uh, Home Depot, but. I EDC this all the time. They do make an even smaller one with the C, what is it, the, the CR battery, and, or the C2 or R2, whatever it is. It's even smaller than this, and I think it's almost the same brightness, so I might go and get one of those, but this is phenomenal to like. But if you look at the comparison, I guess I'll do it that to that, because you can see this little ski mate's pretty damn. Uh, pretty damn cool so there you go guys if you're thinking about it you know I, I, I hate all those little mini light for me I really I'm, I'm obsessed with power on these things I mean this Phoenix is ridiculous on turbo this thing is crazy and uh, this ain't so bad either the one two three um, not quite as impressed with the Prion 2 yeah it's got a great little so can carry it like a pen and you know, it's pretty cheap, but it, it has a flood beam, and I'm not as huge of a fan of a flood. I enjoy more of a fo focus beam like the TLR-3. But if you're looking for a cool little pocket flashlight or keychain one, um, and something that you can, I think, rely on as a, a, a spare or secondary flashlight, I think this would be it. I mean, if I was to go hiking, that would be going. This would be going, the Phoenix, and this would be going. And I probably would take that too. <laughs> I mean, why not? Um, you know, you can never have enough flashlights. I think they're really cool. So okay, Here's the Mini 1, 2, 3. Low, medium, and of course the high. I wanted to compare the Streamlight to that just to show you. Okay, that's the Streamlight. Okay, so it's comparable to almost the medium um, it certainly is in the you know there's the medium on the one two three and there's the streamlight I think it's a pretty excellent little light for nine bucks anyway guys just wanted to get that out there this little streamlight keymate I give it a thumbs up you know great little ED, uh, EDC but other than that great little gift thing is just goddamn adorable <laughs> All right, guys.